All right, another aldol reaction. Um, this is gonna be a little different this time. Um, base catalyzed, so we're gonna make an enolate. Uh, similar to the same aldehydes reacting with each other. So of course, one's gonna be the nucleophile, and one's gonna be the electrophile. So let's make, just choose this one to be the nucleophile. Do some carbon numbering. One, two, three, four. So carbon two is gonna be the nucleophile, that's gonna be the enolate, and then three is gonna be the electrophile. Uh, so similar to what we've done in the past, we're just gonna deprotonate, make that enolate, right, that deprot takes place. We turn carbon two into a nucleophile at this point. We also generated water. So I'll make sure we have that along for the ride. Do our numbering one and two. Of course, numbering is really important for these. We do that addition reaction. We add in, right? We create that tetrahedral intermediate. Um, and we make sure a good numbering system will help us make sure we don't lose any atoms and things stay connected. So we're making a bond between carbon two and carbon three. Two is the nucleophile, three is the electrophile. All right, back here now again, I'm showing that bond between two and three being created. We've created a tetrahedral intermediate, carbon three. So tetrahedral intermediate, we ask ourselves, do we have any good leaving groups? We do not in this case, hydrogen and carbon, not good leaving groups. So we, the, that portion must be done. So again, now we're thinking back to that water. So we're gonna deprotonate there. Now this can be an interesting situation, deprot. It can be a little different than other ones we've seen where we have a possibility for a condensation. We gotta think about um, things like resonance and creating conjugation and why that's important and why that makes things more stable. All right, here we are. I've done the deprotonation, regenerate OH minus at this point. And now at this point, um, we actually can do a condensation and lose water. Now the interesting, the point of reason why this happens is well, there's some heat, there's some energy. Uh, it's gonna take some energy to do this. We also have a, another hydrogen here at carbon two, which we can do an elimination with, of course. All right. Um, and why would we want to do that? Well, let's take a look. We, be, if you made a pi bond between two and three and do an E2 type elimination, we have lots of conjugation here and that's gonna be make things more stable. Anytime you, you can do conjugation, that's stability. Now I'm gonna draw this as an E2 reaction. Um, it, it could be an E1CV, but that's kind of beyond the scope of this class. But if I draw it as an E2 reaction, it's pretty simple, three arrows. And you actually regenerate OH minus in the end. All right, so this is that E2 type reaction, elimination. Uh, what do we end up with? Let's see. So what do we end up with? We end up with a new pi bond between two and three from this being taken out. We generate water, condensation, an aldol condensation reaction, we generate water, and we also regenerated OH minus. And this happens again because we're creating a more conjugated system, so that's gonna be stable. Um, but this is the classic kind of reaction called a aldol reaction but also an aldol condensation reaction right because we're condensing off water uh, we lose water in the process here we also base catalyze aldol condensation okay.